All right, here we go. Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I'm changing the name to uh, Dave Does because I'm going to be doing a lot of different things. Uh, woodworking here, skydiving, scuba diving, the Sturges trip, um, lighthouse, another little, two more lighthouse builds, pardon me. We've got the uh, submarine to do, so it's not only going to be in the shop. It's going to be out doing stuff, and then I'm going to take you truck driving with me. Uh, I'll wait to the summer for that, so it's, the new name is called Dave Does. So, um, audio in the last video sucked. So um, until I get the new uh, media mod for the Hero 8, I'm going to have to talk loud so you guys can hear me, which is fine. Um, today's on uh, part 7 is column time. Doing everything on the, on the column, getting it ready. I'm starting to get into a little bit of a crunch. It's February uh, 16th today. I've got to have uh, the whole lighthouse, the Sambro lighthouse completely finished in exactly um, 20 days. So I only normally work on it on weekends, uh, Sunday, because I drive truck on Saturdays, but I'm going to start uh, even working at night now after work to get this thing uh, done. Uh, I've sourced a rotating beacon for it. It's coming from the Lighthouse Man in, uh, in the United States. So that is said to arrive on the 21st of Feb. So all next weekend we'll be uh, doing nothing but fitting the light in here building up the, the platform so it's the exact correct um, correct height so it'll rotate nice finishing up the top because uh, yeah I thought I had that level I don't it's just a little off that's just sanding that's nothing to do put the base on and then of course we've got the uh, the uprights to to put in there uh, to hold it all up and then install the Lexan so there's a fair bit to do uh, yes yeah, but it'll come but today's project is going to be nothing but the column. Um, all the windows are going to fill in all the little gaps today. Um, all the final sanding on the column will be done. And if I can get that done today, I will be um, probably painting it flat white um, with the first coat anyway, just to get it in there. What the customer has asked for is on the, let me move my phone over, on the column. here what he's asked for is is a hole so we can put the extension cord in so we're going to source a um, an RV cover that flips up you can be able to coil all his uh, electrical cord in there and then it'll shut down it'll be uh, weatherproof and most importantly mouse proof uh, so that would be good so they can pull it out as they want the the light that's coming it rotates you can actually change change the lenses for different colors. Um, comes with a replacement bulb, and you can either have it rotating or just on. Unfortunately, when it's on, it's only going to point in one direction, like a flashlight. It's actually got a got a proper lens in it, so it actually sweeps around like a real lighthouse. So, uh, enough said. Way too much talking. We're just going to get after it, and. Uh, Get as much done on this as we possibly can, uh, waiting for the uh, the actual rotating light to show up. So what I've got in front of me is all my uh, my sanding uh, accoutrements. What we're going to do first, we're going to go around. We'll lay the we'll lay the column down, and the windows. Since I used the hot glue to uh, put it all in, uh, so I didn't have to use clamps or just wait for the glue to set up. It's it's um, standing off the column just a little bit. Which is okay, we'll just go around and fill it all in. Uh, I've got a small little tool here so we can uh, not make quite so much of a mess. And then we'll go through and with my um, homemade uh, sanding sticks here, what we'll do is uh, just go through and just clean everything up so it's really, really nice today. Any other little voids we find, we'll fill those in today to make sure that uh, it all looks perfect once it's painted. Because paint is unforgiving and you can see all your faults and all your little flaws once the paint's on. And... Um, 99% of the time customer doesn't see that, 100% of the time the builder does. So we don't want that. So we're gonna go ahead and um, do as much as we can. So on the next uh, shot here, it'll be column down and we're gonna go through window by window and slowly filling in all the little cracks to make sure we're, uh, we're good to go there. On to the next thing. So what we're gonna do here, as you can see, Just in here, there's just a little gap, and then see these little guys here, and just in here, we'll have to clean all that up. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Okay. 
You know what? I think my finger would be better. Let's go ahead and we'll smush that all in there like that. It's okay to make a bit of a mess all the way around. This stuff is new and there's all the uh, oils and slimes are right up at the top. All right, that's sort of how we do it. Now we're just gonna go ahead and do that to all the windows. And I will come back when we're just about on the, uh, on the last one. What I'm picking at here is just a little bit of um, hot glue that just oozed out a little bit. We don't want that in because hot glue does not paint. Paint does not stick to it. So we'll have to sand that out. All right. So what you're looking at here is the uh, the back side of the little shack. Of course, the column's on its side. And this is, this is the, the roof, and here's the face. So let me turn that a little bit. So what I did, you see that still? Yeah, there we go. Um, I had to bump out the side just a little bit because in the real Sambro Lighthouse, concrete, concrete, wood. Um, <laughs> what I didn't do was put a little piece of wood here to bump this out so it looks like a um, continuous um, uh, support all the way around or a frame all the way around so it uh, the house stands proud of it. So I gotta cut this piece out, stick that on there and then we'll shape it all down. So that's next. So the piece I need is uh, six and a half by six and three eighths. So we'll just get, find a little piece of wood and uh, we'll cut that out on the saw. Okay, I had to go back and forth a little, a few times. There's a little gap here, but that's okay. We'll just nail, we'll just sand that down and make it all look nice. It's, um, I might have to do a little bit of sanding here. It doesn't sit quite flush here, but I can fix that. Also, when I built it up, there's a bit of a gap here. So we'll just go ahead and do that. I'll do that off camera. Let's flip that over just a second, just to make sure. No, nope, that's the way. All right. Perfect, on to the next. So we just have to stand this down a little more, make sure it's nice and uh, flush. Test piece there. Not bad. Not bad at all. So 
lot of sanding to do coming up. A lot of sanding. That's nice and flat. That's good. We got that cleaned up. All right, we'll get the glue ready, and I'm not sure how we're if we're gonna clamp that or uh, just a little dab of hot glue or what. But we'll figure that out in a moment. So at this point now, I think the quickest way to do it would we'll is glue the heck out of it and uh, put brads in. That'll hold it in. That'll hold it in really nice. with we'll goop it all in there, and then we'll swish it around. Get really good coverage. So. So it never ever comes off. Edges, don't forget your edges. Somebody just messaged me. Hey, by the way, while we're just sitting here doing this, if anybody's watching this stuff, um, I'm uh, obviously new to YouTube. So what I wanna do is I wanna increase uh, content and how everything goes. So if you guys have uh, any comments on how I can do things better or maybe make, make things a little bit more interesting, that's fine. I uh, I accept all uh, all criticisms, which is which is uh, which will do nothing but improve me. So that's what I want to do. Okay, Brad, nice and tight. There we go. I'm gonna hold it in there. Quite nice. Couple little gaps to fill. Nothing big. Okay. Here, get my filler, and we'll get that. Get these holes filled right away, so when it comes down time to sand everything, we can do everything at once. The lighthouse is going to be uh, powered, like I said before, like I told you um, earlier. Um, and I think I mentioned earlier that uh, I put the base on too soon. So what I might have to do, if I can't get um, enough access through the hole I've got to cut in the side for um, the uh, electrical cord storage, I will cut a hole in the bottom so I can gain access to that. And then we'll put another, then we'll put a, a secondary cover on that. So uh, for it, it's level and um, it hides everything in there nicely. But I might have to do that so I can uh, gain access and secure all the, the wiring inside. Um, okay, we'll let things dry up and then uh, we'll be back to you. So on to the next thing. Okay, the joint compound has uh, dried good enough to be able to sand it now. I'll speed this up because this is going to be boring. Um, watch if you want. I've got to get it done. So um, here we go. I'm going to start with all the big stuff with the uh, the power sander. So I got my respirator on. I'll go through every. Watch the noise. I'll watch every. Um, I'll threaten me. I'll watch. I'll hit every side, and then I'll come back with all of the uh, the small hand tools, and I'll get that done. So here we go. First, I've got to change glasses. So uh, <laughs> these are expensive glasses. I got my shop glasses over there. And with my shop glasses, um, these are very old. They're the uh, an old prescription of a gill. Um, still, everything works. And um, these glasses fit better with the respirator and my hearing protection, which I like to listen to music. Here we go.
So there we go. That's all the um, all the big stuff done. Now I've just got to get down to the uh, the smaller stuff, which I have to do with the hand tools. I'll uh, I'll bring you in close as I do this one here, and then all the rest are just the same. So we'll just set that set that up right now. So you can see this line right here. It doesn't look. It looks worse than it is. For some reason on the GoPro, all these. Um, All the uh, the darker lines here, all the grains are uh, really, really accentuated. They're not quite that dark. Um, anyway, so here we go. This is how I do this. So we start, and we just go back and forth, nice and slow. We just square it all up. And this is the point where we can adjust the window because um, it might not be totally square for me. And here's the, the spot where we get to uh, make it square and uh, plumb. You see a little bit of glup in there. I got my little tool. Just reach in there and poke that out. Because we want it to be the best we can for our, the client. We just want this parallel to that and this parallel to that. And as you can see, this piece here is just a bit big, so we'll... Cut that down a bit. I'll get my straight edge my combination. Should have had this ready, sorry. So all we really want to do is make sure it's pretty much square to the line. It's not bad. I think because of these lines are off, it looks much, much worse than it is. No, it's not bad. It's pretty darn good. So there we go. So now they're all it is to do is all of them. I'm not going to show you all of them. I'll just uh, jump ahead and then I'll come back when it's time to uh, get into all the other little um, tight uh, places. So we'll see you in a bit. All right, here we go. All these little spots in here have to be done and they're a pain to get at. I should have been a little bit more uh, careful with it, but I've got these... Um, these pieces here, so let's get to it. I'm gonna get the sand away. Want it nice and smooth. Uh, this is the point, the part here, that the, um, oh, my lens is dirty. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, that the fixture is gonna go on for the, um, where the cords are gonna come in and out. So it'll be just, It'll be just higher than this. It'll be in this area right here. And then the cord will go in. It's all hollow in there. So um, we, uh, <laughs> no, it's not. I've got a full column in there, don't I? So I am going to have to cut the bottom out to be able to fish the line through. But that's okay. We can, uh, I've still got lots of plywood left. Anyway, on to Sandy. Corners have to be as good as we can get them because that's where people seem to focus.
like I said, this is going to be the back side, the non-viewing side, hopefully. So it's going to have that ugly um, bump out in it here for the, uh, not bump out, but the uh, electrical cable hatch, as I was just, as I was researching it. It's, it's called a, a electrical cable hatch. It's not a door, it's a hatch. And it, it opens up and it's got a little a little um, U-shaped uh, opening in it that uh, the cord can come out and then the actual uh, plate, which is about, I don't know, about three or four inches wide, um, well, can actually close and that'll keep any moisture and uh, rodents out of it. We do not want rodents in there. If they get into the main structure, they'll keep wiring and stuff and then... And then the, this has got to come back to me and i got to take it all apart and it's a pain. I've never had to do that yet, but I've never had a mouse in a lighthouse. Of all the lighthouses I've built, and I've built a few, um, no, I've never had one in there, which is good. The kaleidoscope light, which I will put in right, I've mentioned it like seven times, I've never shown you guys my kaleidoscope lighthouse. I will put in the Kaleidoscope Lighthouse right now. So finally, as promised, here's my Kaleidoscope Lighthouse. You can see it all nice and flashes. I'll turn the light off in here. There we go. And this is what it does. So underneath, here's the lights I've got flashing. When it's really dark, they really illuminate the column. You can see in the door, it flashes. I've got the overhead light. Cat's bothering me. Cat. Uh, lights all the way around. Windows all the way around. And this guy's for sale, actually. It used to sit out in front of our fifth wheel when we were camping. There we go. My kaleidoscope lighthouse. So there it is, it looks pretty cool. It um, still works well, it all lights up. Um, oh, my light went out. Uh, excuse me, I gotta turn that plug my light back in. There we go, that light's on the garage door. And uh, as long as there's movement in here, uh, that light stays on. But as soon as the there's no movement or I'm just sitting around sanding at nauseum, the, uh, it, it goes out. So uh, I've now plugged it into permanent power. So the garage light can do everything, everything what the garage light wants. I'm gonna have to flip this up to get in there. No big deal. We're just gonna slowly spin this and get in all these, all the edges here. Um, drywall sponge with uh, coarseness. It's, uh, it seems to work real nice to get into all those little corners to get them all smooth so it looks good for paint. If it's good enough for drywall for paint. I'm sure it's going to be good enough for an outdoor lighthouse. So as far as plywood goes, I thought I picked a really, really good, good piece. It took me, myself and a, one of those uh, representatives at the depot, a while to fish through the, all of this stuff, this uh, quarter inch plywood. I thought I had the good stuff, but man, oh man, oh man, there's a little bit of voids in it that have to be filled. And, That's a good, that's a good chunk there. We'll just take my little tool here. See we'll we'll how so hard that stuff gets? It gets almost like concrete. It's fantastic. Oh, I want to put a hole in the wood here.
we will do, it's just a little rough, and it's um, end grain, plywood end grain, so I like to fill it. We're going to sand most of this off anyway, but it seems to close the pores a little bit, and then even though this is going to be under uh, literally four coats of, of uh, exterior, exterior paint that has never failed me, I use that the bare exterior acrylic and it seems to work it does not it doesn't seem to work it does work it works really really good I've used it on all the lighthouses the uh, Port Alcone lighthouse that they I gotta get a hold of him I guess I think his name was Greg from Black Falls I want to see how that big that big brute is doing like this one here when it's done is going to be uh, five and a half feet tall and the box it's going to be transported in is going to be six feet um, but the other one was, was oh shoot, well I'm 5'10 and it was taller than I was, so it's got, the lighthouse itself had to be 6 something, just, I forget exactly what the dimensions were, just over 6 feet, and the box we had to build for it was uh, closer to 7, the guy showed up to pick it up in a, um, a one ton Dodge Dually, and um, he couldn't put the, he couldn't, couldn't put the tailgate up. Maybe we had to tie it in, and it's, I had to make a coffin. It looked like a coffin. Make a, um, a coffin for it, and then we had to wrap it all up in a moving blanket. And um, him, uh, his buddy and I, we put it in the, uh, in the back of the truck ever so gingerly. And uh, he sent me a few pictures of it working in his backyard, and uh, very, very happy with it. Of course, that one, this one doesn't light up at all. Uh, the windows don't light up, which I could, I, I could it's easily, easily enough to do. Uh, they don't. The Port Alcone one didn't have any lights in it at all. <coughs> Pardon me, dust. It was just a complete um, tapered uh, circle, circular, and it was tapered. And I had to build this gigantic lathe to do that. It was all made out of two by sixes that were all shaved down and made into round. Uh, four inch, four inch wide, two by sixes, tapered. Um, a gigantic lathe to, I'll show you the lathe. And um, slowly did it all with the router and then built the top and then at the bottom of it, um, I put a little extra added piece in the, in the base. I cut a piece out and I put in, uh, it was lit, and it said uh, Port Alcone Lighthouse. In there, and that's what I need. So if you look carefully in the, I'll show a picture of it now. You can see they're all lit up and it was big. It was really, really big. Anyway, that's enough for this little, uh, this little video here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna um, have a cup of tea and think about what I'm doing next and then we'll get right back to you. Anyway, there we go. It's a uh, GoPro Hero 8 controlled by the phone. Um, so now and then I look up to make sure that uh, we're still in the shop. There is a, or in the shot, there is um, a slight delay. So you have to be aware of that. Anyway. We'll set something else up and we'll get after it. All right, folks, sorry for the little bit of noise. The heater just kicked in. I just want to get this going. So what I decided to do is that now that we've got all the sanding done, there's still some little bit, uh, just touch-ups to do, nothing, nothing major. I'm gonna put the door in. I'm not gonna cut a hole. Out of this piece here, we're just gonna cut it down to size. It's probably beginning to be about that big by that big. Um, yeah, look at this. Should have this ready. So we're looking at about for the height of this. Yeah, I think three inches is, is good. Yeah, three to six looks fine. That'll work. Uh, three to six, six, six. It was only one about a two inch wide door. Oops, broke. Just there. Oh. 
here comes the interesting bit. This is all tapered to match that a little bit, so it's not certainly not vertical. Well, it's close. It's not quite vertical. So I go off of here. So you see that? It won't be straight. It's going to be more like that, 90 degrees. So we're looking at the door. This is just a crude representation of where the door is going to be. Something like that. The lines aren't quite straight, but um, that's okay for now. We'll get that all nice and level. I'll actually use a level to put the door on. So we're going to cut it out of, out of, out of this right now on the saw. So we'll set that back up and I'll show you that. There's our door. We'll go back over and we'll see what that looks like. Um, now looking at it like this, it looks too tall. Let's go back over the lighthouse. I changed my mind. Uh, it's three and three quarters by two, and that looks about um, that looks about right. What do you think? I think so. We're gonna build. A, this will stand proud. Of course, I'll put a, a I'll put a frame around there. Then there's a uh, the first step's a little tiny platform, and then we'll then we, it goes down from there. Uh, actually, we might have to put that a little lower. Put it, well, it's okay. I can put it anywhere to make it match. But uh, we'll build the stairs. I'll build the frame for this first, so it, so it looks nice. Um, I'll build the stairs, the frame for the stairs. Then we'll, we'll bring. We'll build the rungs. Um, then we'll keep going. So what I've decided on is. Uh, for the edge, the edge pieces, I forget what they're called. The runners, I guess, maybe? Um, for the sides of the stairs and then the middle support. I'm gonna make them uh, three quarters, we'll try three quarters of an inch, I'll make three of them. And then, um, well, of course, we gotta cut in the, uh, we gotta cut in the, uh, I don't even know what they're called, the cuts to add, to, uh, to add the rungs. Here we go. hit the power switch so there we go there are the uh, the three end pieces the three pieces that'll go up of course they'll have cut into them the, um, the spaces for that but what I did was just in case for, some, for whatever reason that looks a little too steep I built I made another two at one inch and uh, if I have to I can put those down those on the uh, the edge like that and then the center one for support. So let, oh, pardon me. Let's go figure out exactly how, um, <laughs> how I cut those in there. <coughs> pardon me, how I cut those in there. Okay, so what I've done, I've cut the two end pieces for the stairs. I'm starting to figure out how to do the, uh, the actual steps themselves. Uh, if you can see this, this, they sit like that. And then there is a, there it is. There's like a small, very small platform. Now, if you can see this, I cut this to fit to fit to the uh, the shack. It's got to be out like that. So there's half inch. So what I did, I cut these little guys into half inch. And we'll just make sure all the angles are correct because these are two. These are 42 degrees on one side and 30 on the other. So there we go there. Check. Yeah, I see it's lower, so it goes there. Okay, so quickly mark those, goes on that end, it goes on that end. So it's these little guys. Go on the end here. Clean up some excess like that. So this little guy gets glued on there like that. Almost no way. There's almost no way to clamp that. Trying to get rid of some of the excess glue so you can see. So just little bump outs. Little, pardon me, little extensions, bump outs. Hold that like that. Same with the other one. Two. 
too much on there. It's all right. And make sure they're all the way up. Make sure it stays on. Okay, there we go. What we're going to do before we go too much further, we're just going to wait 10-20 um, minutes, let those set up just a little bit before we can before we continue, and then um, we'll figure out how we're making the uh, the cutouts for the stairs. Okay, this should be entertaining. What I've done, I've made some supports for the stairs. So we're going to put one there. We're going to put another one there. <laughs> Somehow like that. Actually back here. Right at the back corner. So let's see how well this, this works. The issue with working with this small stuff, I don't have anything small enough to hold it. Oh. You see? I should have waited. Good, I'll wait. Funny thing is, how in the world do you clamp that, or do you? Some extra for extras for support. Like that. This one here gets glue. Too much. And this one here gets too much glue. Should hot glue these. But hot glue is such a pain to work with after the fact. Oh, what happened to my glue? We'll mess with this for a little while longer, and if it doesn't, if it doesn't want to work, we'll uh, use hot glue. Because that stuff sets up and out. Moment. Always helps having more glue on your fingers than you, and it's more sticky. Oh man. Okay. All right. Wipe those off. Hot glue it is. All right. What I decided to do was not to cut out the birds. The birds, whatever the holiday, the birds beak, whatever. 
I, don't, I decided not to cut them out. I decided just to inlay them. They're two inches wide, which is this. This is, and it's going to be an inch. Each uh, step will be uh, an inch and a quarter, which this is set up to be. Um, if the glue doesn't work, I'm just going to use hot glue and then shave off the rest. So um, here we go. down for safety okay I'll, I'll move the camera over and I'll show you uh, what we're gonna do all right so here's the uprights there so what I'm gonna do is figure out that angle there right so we'll just line the bottom up because so, that'll be level Let's see there just like that perfect And then where the top reaches, so that ends up to be, as you can see that, that's uh, 15. So all we'll do is move down to this point here. Put that on the 15. All right. Down here. Oh, this is going to be difficult. No, oh, what, what am I doing? Put that on the 15, like that. Now, look at that, that's the right width. So now all we have to do is we'll line that up with that. Next one, line that up with that. Oh, that's too big, isn't it? It's just too big. How much, what's the distance? It's one inch. Three quarters of an inch. Cut this, cut this down to quickly to three quarters of an inch, and then we'll put the other lines in. Just off camera for a second. It's smaller than three quarters of an inch. So, take a little bit more. That's better. See that it lines up nicely. Now we just gotta line that up properly with the lower one, hold it on there nice. Sturdy. See, look how far that line went off. There we go, there's our lines. Let's transpose them here. This one, and then we'll do the same thing. Oh, I did that backwards, didn't I? Or did I? I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, so they will get glued like that, right? Proud. We're going to hot glue these guys in. There we are. Smear it on so it's lined up with the front, line up with the line, hold it there for a second, squish it down with it, done. Okay. 
Well, damn. Got to remember not to <laughs> swish hot glue around with your fingers. Your fingers don't like it very much, and you've got to be fairly precise the first time. Now, I'm forgetting which line is which here. Peak to peak, inch. Peak to peak, inch, or one. And the worst part about the hot glue is those little strings. There we are. Push that down solidly. There. Last one. This is a goopy mess, but once that solidifies, we can uh, go back later on and fix that up. You see the little strings? I don't know if that shows up on camera. But there's our stairs. Right on now. This one we gotta make sure we get it on there nicely. Yeah, so being you see the stair, they're not completely straight, so we gotta make sure they're straight. So what I might do, I might just uh, make some spacers to put in there to make sure they're they're straight and then uh, I think this side will end up uh, will end up actually gluing but as you can see there's the stairs it's not too bad that'll work and it goes on like that so right between those lines so that's what we'll do I'll um, shut the camera off and then we'll go ahead and um, I'll make some spacers up to fit in there nicely and then I'll make uh, one on each side um, that won't be permanent and we'll just make sure everything's straight up So there we go, there's the rungs and the, uh, the center bit, what I had to do, I put, put little spacers in there, um, got this guy here to go on like that, now, all I have to do now, a little dab of glue, line up the front faces with the marks I've got there, and we should be golden, oh my god, hot glue everywhere, hot glue everywhere, it's going to be very delicate with this thing because it's not very sturdy. Come on, Mr. Glue. There we go. Put that on there. And here we are. We've got a few seconds. Line that up. Line that up. Press down. At least with a hot glue, you can. If you don't like it, you can always take it apart. It will pop. In this application here, once it's glued to the base and it's glued to the shack, it will be uh, it'll be fine. Take our spacers out. Take our spacers out. What I do here is just squeeze this one here together just a little bit more. There we go. As good as that's going to get. Okay, there we go. There's our stairs. Hey, look at that. It actually works nicely. Um, there it is. Half inch platform goes on top like that. Get rid of some mess here. I'll get, that. get rid of that glue gum. If it gets spilled on here, I just let it dry up, and then it'll. Uh, it's very very easy to shave. Put that on there like that. Make sure it's flush to 
the top. It's off just a little bit. That's all right. We can I can adjust that once I get the base in. And of course, all the little holes and marks in there. We'll fill that in. And there's the platform. There's our stairs. Huh. Looking at the stairs. Hmm. They look cool. They got to be redone. Because a step to the top isn't good enough. There should be one more step right there. Should be another step right there. Keep carrying this away. Should be another one there. That goes on there like that. Tell you what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna shave that. I'm gonna put that step in, shave that down, and make the door match it. That's what we'll do. So we'll glue this up, and then I'll put the spacers in. And I'll put the spacers in. I, geez, I, I talk, tend to talk too low. You got that fan going in the background there. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. It goes in there like a line. It. Line it up with that line. Push it back a bit. I'm gonna have to shave this down on the saw. Big deal. That goes there. That goes there. That down a bit, clamp it. There we go. Now I, I just happen to have a clamp here. Oh, it's too far forward on that side. We'll see how this goes. There we go. So what I'm going to do, you see these those little nubbins that stick up there, and if you notice on the back, it stands proud too. We'll either either sand, oh that's way off. We'll either sand that down on the uh, on the belt sander, or what we'll do is we'll um, we'll cut it down with the table saw. Should have done that to start with, shouldn't I? Silly me. Good thing I didn't hot glue it. Here we are. Spacers are more proper. I keep pulling this away from the camera, sorry. There we are. So that'll be the stairs. Like I said, under here, I'm going to put, since I've got to cut a hole in the bottom of it to, for the electrics, I, um, I'll make a bump out here or this way. Probably, well, I need the support from here, don't I? So when I put this on, it'll, a piece will come out here like this, and then we'll fill that in. And we'll make the stairs look nice and pretty. Because once they're painted, everything looks, seems to look a little better. And then we'll make a platform. Yeah, you know what? I think that's it for today. Um, it's a quick recap. Of course, we sanded down all the windows. We got all the glup out of the center of them. We sanded the whole column down. Um, we put the extra piece on the on the shed. We built the stairs. So uh, I think that's enough for today. We gotta really start thinking about the uh, the lighthouse, or pardon me, the actual light structure that the light sits in. Uh, like I said earlier, the uh, the rotating beacon shows up hopefully Friday um, by FedEx. It'll come right to my office. So that'll be fantastic. I'll get it there, and then on the weekend, we'll uh, we'll start building the um, the actual structure itself. We'll get the light in. We'll get it set at the right height. We'll get the wires in. We'll cut the bottom out. We'll cut the bottom up. We'll install the uh, the um, electrical cover hatch um, in in the sh in the shack, and then um, hopefully by that time, if we can get all that done and filled in and sanded down in a day. I don't think so. I think it's going to take a little longer than that. 
we'll be ready for paint. I just checked my paint supply, lots of red. I might have to buy a little bit more white. Um, and that uh, then will be done. So hopefully two more weekends, two more full days, and this should be done maybe three days. Uh, whenever, you never know. Things happen, you always end up finding little defects that you'd like to um, correct before the uh, customer gets it. So that's it from um, Dave Does. Uh, please like, subscribe, and ring the little bell, and you'll be notified every time a video is uploaded. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.